Mangonami. Uh, Honorable July Moyo, Minister of Public Service, Labor and Social Welfare. Honorable Emily Sesaya, Deputy Minister of Sports, Recreation, Arts and Culture. Uh, Dr. Thomas Utati Wuxie, Permanent Secretary of Ministry of Industry and Commerce. Mr. Uh, no, <laughs> Ms. Shano Liu. Vice President of the Chamber of Chinese Enterprises in Zimbabwe. Mr. Zhao Ke, Chairman of China Zimbabwe Exchange Center, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. It's my great pleasure to attend today's Zimbabwe Chinese Enterprises Job Fair. To begin with, I'd like to express my sincere congratulations to the organizers, namely the Chamber of Chinese Enterprises in Zimbabwe, the China Zimbabwe Exchange Center, and to all the Chinese enterprises present here today. I would also like to extend my warm welcome and best wishes to all the guests and job seekers today. Dear friends, China and Zimbabwe have enjoyed long-standing friendship, which consistently serves as a driving force for our mutually beneficial cooperation. In recent years, the comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership between our two countries have kept yielding fruitful results. Last week, the new parliament building funded with Chinese government grants, designed and constructed by Chinese companies, was officially handed over to Zimbabwe. I commend Chinese companies' excellent work for making this iconic and magnificent project possible. I also applaud them for meticulously implementing the National Pharmaceutical Warehouse Project, the 1,000 borehole drilling project, the expansion of Unit 7 and 8 of the Wangi Power Station, the Victoria Falls Airport, and the Robert Mugabe International Airport, which are also funded with Chinese government grants or concessional loans from China. These projects are epitomes of our great relationship. What is equally inspiring is that more and more Chinese enterprises have cast their eyes and actually invested in Zimbabwe. The latest data released by Zimbabwe Investment Development Agency shows that over the first three quarters of this year, China's total investment in Zimbabwe reached 3.74 billion US dollars accounting for 71.5% of the accum uh, cumulative foreign and domestic di direct investment in Zimbabwe. An additional 280 Chinese enterprises have entered Zimbabwe, participating in sectors such as mining, agriculture, energy, construction, telecommunication, trade, etc. These are incredible achievements made through our joint efforts and also remarkable accomplishments thanks to Zimbabwe government's open for business policy. Dear friends, Chinese investment have played a key role in driving Zimbabwe's economic and social progress. The Chinese investment means not only tax revenue, forex earning, job opportunities, but also technology transfer, capacity building, and talent improvement. On top of that, I am very glad to see that Chinese enterprises have also actively, actively fulfilled their corporate social responsibilities by building roads, schools, hospitals, libraries, drilling boreholes, supporting students with scholarships, etc. These actions have not only helped drive Zimbabwe's industrialization, modernization, and the realization of the Vision 2030, but also deepen the bonds between our two peoples. 
Dear friends, with the healthy and steady development of China-Zimbabwe economic and trade relations, Chinese enterprises' demand for local employees has grown stronger. Last year, the first Chinese enterprises job fair was held successfully to meet the growing demand by local communities. The Chamber of Chinese Enterprises in Zimbabwe, the China-Zimbabwe Exchange Center, joined hands to hold today's job fair, which gathers over 50 Chinese enterprises and provides nearly 1,000 job opportunities. I hope that our job seekers can seek the opportunities to engage with our Chinese uh, enterprises and uh, get to know their corporate culture, values, to showcase your talents and potentials, and ultimately realize your dreams. I believe that with our joint efforts, we will continue to inject vitality and momentum to our mutually beneficial economic cooperation between our two great countries. I also believe that Chinese enterprises will continue to increase their investments in Zimbabwe to further benefit Zimbabwe's economic and social progress and people's well-being. As Chinese ambassador, I look forward to working with our Zimbabwe friends more closely to open up broader prospects for our mutual cooperation. Under the framework of the Belt and Road Initiative and other mechanisms which have already been established. Lastly, I wish today's job fair a full success and the guests and job seekers health, happiness, and prosperity. Tatenda.